Okay, Frank Sullivan, mad scientist. Frank's been stopping by on the weekends, helping out with building some Stan Meyer stuff, giving me some ideas, telling me about how everything works. So, what have we built, Frank? Well, we got a podium control box. Podium? What's a podium? Oh, podium, something that sits right in front of you, just like this. So oh. <laughs> so what, what's the podium for? It's going to be a control box for this engine. Or That's an engine? Yes. What kind of engine? 1600cc engine, just the same as uh, Stan Myers had in his doom bucket. No kidding. Let me zoom in on it, Frank. Can you spin it around? Sure can do. Oh, we made it so you could spin it, didn't we? Yes, we did. What's that thing your right hand's on? This is, would be where the starter goes. This is chopped off where your old uh, transmission was. That's just so we can put a starter on there to start the motor. Right. It's just a part of a bell housing. And what is that? Six cylinder? Eight cylinder? No, I'm not sure. <laughs> That's a four cylinder. Air cold four cylinder right there. Mm -hmm. Right there is the intake. There's two spark plugs there. There's the intake, two intake ports. We got four valves right there, two valves for each cylinder. That's the exhaust port right there. And uh, there's the, the front pulley that drives the alternator right where Frank's left hand is, is where the generator, the original generator that powers the battery. And then Stan mounted an alternator right here. And there's the other exhaust port, the other intake side. And there's where the spark plugs are. And again, the intake. And what we did was took another transmission that doesn't have a separate bell housing. We just cut the bell housing off just so we can mount the starter. What's that thing it's sitting on, Frank? That would be a wheeled dolly. Why did we do that? Make it portable so we can move it around. I see. So we're going to strap that thing down so it can't jump off. Strap it right on. Then what's the purpose of the podium now? Well, the podium is going to control it where we can start it and uh, control uh, throttle or whatever we need. I see. So you're going to have the ignition switch, the ignition button, any display gauges, RPM gauge, whatever inside right. of that box. Everything will be right here. Uh, tilt that box forward so we can see down the hole. Just there you go. A little bit more. Perfect. So the gauges all go right there. The ignition switch. And then the wires go down the hole and the battery will set on one side or the other. And you can wheel them both around in the shop, right? Absolutely. What's the purpose of wheeling them around? So you can. <laughs> <laughs> so you can put it over in the corner and come back to it, huh? Right. And then this gives us full control over firing up the Volkswagen engine or right. whatever engine that, what other engine we want to attach to the podium, all the gauges and everything will be right there. Absolutely. We're going to really test and see if Stan Myers did it right and exactly what he says works. So where'd that motor come from, Frank? Ah, uh, this came from my buddy Ethan. Ethan, what's Ethan's last name? You know, I can't You forgot, didn't hand. you? <laughs> Ethan, Ethan was at our conference. He displayed, uh, what was that, a Tesla? Tesla coil, pancake coil. Uh, they called that a doorknob or something. I'm not sure. Huh, I'll remember as soon as the video is Yeah, over. yeah, me too. 
<laughs> anyway. Post his name with his last name on here and then whatever the pamphlet Google is called. Ethan had this motor laying around. It's not a complete motor. Engine, I guess the correct term's engine. And he donated it just so we could have something to base the uh, the platform, the dolly on. So the wood's bolted down to the dolly, and then we'll put some straps around the engine so that it can't jump off. And I, I actually have a complete running engine at my house, and then it will replace this one. But this is probably an engine that runs, so if this is all we have for the second engine, if someone else has engine parts for a 1600cc Volkswagen, it would be much appreciated so that we could have two of them to work with. Now, we're going to do something rather interesting. We are going to attempt to do exactly like Stan Myers did and have this engine self run. We got work to do before we do that. Absolutely. We still got to put the instrument cluster and get everything hooked up and get the other motor running with the podium. Yep, still got a ways to go. And then we're going to take some just standard electrolysis hydrogen and see how many liters a minute to run the engine. And we're going to mount a gas processor on there, recirculate the gases, the exhaust gases. And then we have re already replicated some of the Stan's other stuff and the tube set and one of the alternator models. So we, once we know the amount of hydrogen it takes to run the engine, then we have to produce that amount under that load to see if we can make it run. Okay. A baseline? Yeah. So this is what we're doing. Why we're doing it? Because we're pretty sure it'll run. We've been working on this stuff, demonstrated all kinds of stuff. Everything that we've done says Stan told the truth. Now it's time to start putting stuff together and testing it. So what did we do last month, Frank? What did we do last month? The conference? Was that wasn't last month. That's uh, over a month ago, wasn't it? Yeah, it was November twenty first, twenty second. What did we dem what did we demonstrate? Well we demonstrated the VIC voltage intensifier circuit. Working. Working. Making bubbles. Right in front of everybody, peers, the works, people saw it live. Over twenty people there. Mm-hmm. Got they, to turn the knob up and down and test it out. They turned the knobs. They saw it work. They saw it make bubbles on rainwater. Right. They saw, saw the voltage go towards infinity as the components would allow. Absolutely. They, saw, they saw more bubbles with more voltage. Right. How many amps was it? Do you remember? I think it was like 200 milliamps. Maybe? Less than, I think at the most it was 200 milliamps. Right. And we had... Stan Meyer's sister and niece there. They also turned the dials, checked it out. We had how many electrical engineers there? Three. At least three right. educated, degreed en electrical engineers. Right. And the one electrical engineer even turned it on. Yes, that he did. And Lorraine, Stan Meyer's niece, turned it on. She didn't know anything about electronics. Right. But when she turned it on... The hair on her arms was standing up. She asked why the hair on her arms was standing up. That was from the electromagnetic field. Yep. Which we lost a lot of the video footage from some stray electromagnetic fields. I don't know. I, I'd blame the other guys, but okay. <laughs> well, mine wasn't that intense. <laughs> but the, the, the Tesla coil erased some of the footage. That it did. Yeah. So we had to pull some of the footage off some of the other stuff, some of the other cameras. Right. But the point is... 
we demonstrated a working Stanmire voltage intensifier circuit and it did exactly what Stan said it did. did. Now we're working on setting up the Volkswagen engine, exactly the same kind of engine, the same model, the same CCs, and we're going to see what happens. Yep. So what about support? Do we got any support for this yet? Yeah, we seem to be getting a few people willing to help out. Five bucks, uh, ten bucks. Oh, well, that kind of support, uh, it's a little lacking, but, you know, we're making do. Some people have supported me in the past. Some people come along here and there. But this does cost a lot of money. Yes. We still need support with not only money, but we need actual people helping out. If people are good at making websites, people are good at running a camera, even if you're good at running your mouth, <laughs> we could still use defensive mouth runners. <laughs> Whatever you think you can help out with, that would be great because you never know, it might be something we could utilize. But the point is we still need financial help, we need physical help. Even the, the engine right there, Ethan donated that engine block. It's got the heads on it. It's still, it's missing some stuff. The fans, the starter, all that stuff. Anything that you have related to a Volkswagen engine, maybe we could use it. Mm -hmm. That would be a really good donation. We're not, Frank, Frank and I are not rich. Frank might be rich, but might be holding out on me. Where'd that come from? <laughs> But I'm for sure not rich. Frank's not rich. The people that are rich, they don't care if this thing runs or not. It's the rest of us that Absolutely. need this. And I don't need this. I have a job. I could just keep working my job and not do this at all. But I do this because I want to do it. I want the world to have it. But we still need support. And support comes in many forms. Absolutely. Now I got a question for you, Max. Uh oh. Yes. How's it feel to be retired? Retired? Oh yeah, I retired. How <laughs> how come I'm still working on this stuff? <laughs> what I retired from, Frank, was answering questions and mailing out stuff. Bingo. Taking up consuming my time because I have things that I have to do. Frank has things he has to do. But Frank and I are both still working on this stuff on our time, mm -hmm. we're spending our money, and we're still posting it for free on the internet. Yep. And with a, a demonstration of a working Stanmeyer VIC, Big time. then there's really no more excuses. Either people get involved or just get out of the way and stop watching the videos if you don't want to involve yourself. What do you think of that? We're that serious about actually doing it, period. No excuses. Yeah, we're doing it. Anybody else that wants to jump in there to help out, we could use the help. That it? I think that's it. One take again. Always, we're good. This time, it was almost all you. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> we did actually have another guy that stopped by today. He lives here local. He was helping out. Okay, yeah. And uh, people from time to time do help out. We just need more of that helping out. It can never be enough. It's, yeah. This is a lot of work, a lot of money. Free energy ain't cheap. No, it's, <laughs> that's so true. <laughs> Free energy is expensive. And then when it's done, everybody could have it. Yep. Until then, it's work, work, work. Very much so. All right, you want to say goodbye? Take care, everybody. Good thing, we're almost out of battery. <laughs>